So, what are we waiting for? Let's jump into the video and let the video support that claim. This video contains actual footages of teachers' regular activities in my country in this pandemic school year. Monday is a busy day. Tables and floors of teachers' offices and rooms are flooded by modules, self-learning kits, students' response papers and notebooks. Sorting, checking, and recording must be done quickly because the next day will be a busier day, Tuesday. But it is impossible to do the checking and recording in just one day. So, unfinished tasks are brought home to continue the checking and recording at home. Tuesday is really a busier day. Maximize is the very essence of the term versatility due to blended learning mode of education. The teaching force is divided. The selected others are assigned to technical tasks and become production directors, audio editors, illustrators, video editors, and teacher broadcasters. Together, let us discover and conquer the world of grade 7 science. And cut. Those who are tasked to work at school, aside from the fact that this day is the beginning of the printing of modules, self-learning kits to augment the needs of thousands of learners, some teachers evolved into electronic technicians, electricians, and things like those. Due to the shortage of printers to use, this day of the week is the continuation of the printing process. But what added to the challenge is the sorting and stapling process. Thursday, it's the busiest day the sorting day. Teachers sort one by one the self-learning kits of all subjects, placing it to an envelope intended only for a single student, and will be carefully placed into a designated box, which will be brought to the place where the student resides. Well, that's just one. Multiply the activity to the number of learners. Lucky if the school only have hundreds of students. But more often, the schools in my country have thousands of students. And 8 hours of working is not enough for this task. It's night time. We are in the senior high school. Our students are lesser than 1,000. So, task finished, ready for the next day, the heaviest day. We are going home, but teachers of the junior high school are still there. They have far greater number of learners than us. When will they finish? Well, only teachers know. I'm still 25 kilometers away from home. I should be home safe from my family. Have rest. Because tomorrow is the heaviest day. Friday.
Friday, the heaviest day. We are only making fun out of it, but believe me, those things are heavy. I must admit, this is the most tiring day. This day, we will bring the module self-learning kits to the parking area to be ready for distribution to different barangays. Not mentioning the distance of some remote, I mean very remote barangays in some schools. Some junior high school teachers are still coping up due to greater number of learners. They are tired, but with their smile, you can feel genuine love and happy hearts. And the determination to finish the task before the day ends. Mabuhay ang mga guro sa Pilipinas. Some say teachers are just enjoying and not working. Is this not working? Are this not working? While our great frontliners of today are busy serving, helping, and protecting the people, our teachers are also busy working so hard to make education continue and produce future great frontliners, great leaders, and professionals. So, no doubt, the education secretary is right when she said this. To the national government, through the Department of Education, I, being part of the technical team, we thank you. We thank you for providing us good place to learn, good place to work, and good food to eat. Woohoo! I'm here. So, sana all. How do we say that in English? Sana all. Mm, wish all also. <laughs> all right. I'm a genius. Go. Okay. Thank you to Sir John Boy Burbano and Ma'am Paula and Castro and Ma'am Marnelli Enriquez for all your supports. Wait. Don't forget to subscribe and share so that the whole world will know. Alright, I'm a genius.